All right, today's the day. Thursday, apparently, is the magical day because this is the text, the text for our topic. The God breaks down the walls we have built up. So, Ephesians chapter 2. You know the beginning of this, actually, right? In verse 8, for his grace, you've been saved through faith. This is not your doing, but it's a gift from God. Hey, Martin Luther, the Reformation was founded on this verse. Then actually, this probably wasn't written by Paul. It could have been, but it's what we call the disputed epistle. Um, probably not a Pauline epistle, but rather someone who was a student of Paul um, and wrote a generation later, building on that Pauline theology. So what we heard yesterday from Corinthians is very present at the foundation of what's going on here in Ephesians, right? Uh, so some grace, we've been saved. Um, you know, it's not our works that save, blah, blah, blah. Reformation, you got it. And then we go into the section that my translation calls One in Christ, which builds on the same ideas that we heard in the Corinthians, right? Um, talking about everyone's favorite, circumcision. Um, but then also talking about, oh, wait, aliens. They bring back Monday's text. Oh my goodness, it's like, this was intentional. Anyway, um, but yes, we also bring in Jesus and the salvific action through Christ. That we are one in this in this body. Oh my gosh, we're just we're connecting Tuesday's text too. This is crazy. And so we crescendo in verse 14. For Christ is our peace. In his flesh, he has made both groups into one, uh, both being Gentile and uh, Jews, by the way. Um and has broken down the dividing wall, that is, the hostility between us. He has abolished the law with its commandments and ordinances, that he may create in himself a new humanity, in the place of the two, thus making peace, and might reconcile both groups to God in one body, through the cross, not emptying of its power, thus putting to death that hostility through it. So I'm going to keep going, actually. So he proclaimed... Uh, came and proclaimed peace to those who were far off and peace to those who were near. For through him, both of us have access in the spirit to the Father. So you are no longer strangers and aliens. You are also members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and the prophets of Christ Jesus himself as the cornerstone. In him, the whole structure is joined together and grows into a holy temple in the Lord, in whom you are also built together spiritually, like a dwelling place for God abiding. So, that was a lot. But that's exactly what we're talking about. It takes all the pieces we've talked about this week and puts it all together in Christ through the cross. We are united. We are one dwelling place of God. We are one people of faith. Gentile or non-Gentile. Right? Um... Clearly, there was, even a generation later, some issue with this. I know. Stunning. Human beings have trouble with putting people in, in categories and in and out groups and putting up walls, literally and figuratively. And yet again, the message of Christ continues to break down those barriers. He continues to bring us together, united, despite our differences. In a vibrant, beautiful, one body of Christ. Even though we may try to build up the walls, God continues to tear them down. And so we'll wrap up with an implication text tomorrow.